man of the masses. My Agunda, my Agunda, politico. My Agunda, this man. Hello, dear. I am going to have more. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do Good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and then a good evening to you uh, from wherever you are joining us at this moment. It is Mayegun Live. You can even say Mayegun Brunch Time. Read the caption of this broadcast. Read the description as well. Share it. Invite your friends, invite your not so friendly friends. Tell them that uh, disappointingly, majority of you possibly were expecting Tifnumbu to give a national broadcast. So at least you the journey so far one year 365 sorry 366 days tell them and if they if he's not coming out to tell you other than to lie to you on my diary politics this afternoon and yes this morning i will take you through the last one year the last uh, one year of uh shade Shege Bansa under Bokuari, Shege Pro Max under Tipnumbu. I come here with evidence. No me, but you. Those of you who like to hide it or live in denial, this is just to remind you. This is just the beginning. Share this broadcast. Invite the bad idiots. Bad stars. The Lagos Sabo Bakus. Ushogua the Majorit. Last one year. So, good morning to you in America. Good afternoon to you in London, in Lagos, in Berlin, and every other places around the, the Europe. Maybe good evening to you in India, Dubai, and all other surrounding areas. It is Mayegun Live. Thank you so much for joining me to start with this segment this afternoon. Hopefully, time will I mean, sorry, time will permit. Uh, we would continue our reading. But for now, uh, the people that told you, I mean, we're all here when these uh, shenanigans, these uh, crooked uh, criminals were scheming. They are state capture, but in fairness, so that we use we use statistics now. In fairness, they said eight million people. Well, uh, Mumudu Yakubu allocated eight point one million or so votes to Tifnumbu. Uh, 6.9 or so million to Atiku, 
then six points, another one million. So will be then one point something million. So quack up. But if you have to now use numbers, the same Mumudu Yakubu said 98 million of you were registered and issued voters card. Now, that simply means out of 98 million people eligible to choose president and others, only 25, 26 million voted. And from these 25, 26 million, which represent less than 25% of the total vo uh, eligible voters. So 25% people voted. From that 25%, the Flumbu, in overall figure, eh, they said they scored 8 million. That is far, far less than 10% of eligible people that could vote, but they were denied voting. So that means out of 98 million, just 7 million, I mean, sorry, just 7% uh, eligible voters in Nigeria are alleged to have voted for Tiknumbu. So it simply means in a country of uh, 200 million people, eh, you have less than 4% of that population that Yakubu said wanted Tiknumbu. I don't want to go into all of that stuff anymore. I just want to like, just so we kind of have that as a background. So those of you who no one take Numbu, we are not going to sit down there and believe, say, some of these, uh, some of these uh, shots are also hitting you. Like the stray bullet that will be firing or other people will be firing. So, and those of you who are also joining and watching this, I hope you keep that in mind. That in this scheme, to do this to all of you in Nigeria. What if Nubu and his gang are doing now? Eh? Yakubu schemed to make, I mean, to force the minority of 4% uh, of the population eh, that they have chosen disaster. Now you see that 4% and their descendants. Uh, I don't know. Because Majority of them who fell for the tribal, religious, and all other nonsense that they, they were fed with that time, many of them that are still existing in Nigeria today, that they are begging for legitimacy eh, to accept it. If Numbu. Now, Nigeria is more divided, no doubt. Nigerians are more poorer as well. In the midst of all of that, if Numbu has succeeded in proving that his only core area of expertise is to tax you and take money from you. Anybody that brags eh, about how much money they could take from people, not how much they actually gave back, they are disaster. And if Numbu is a living evidence. Now, whether you supported him or you didn't, Everybody is collecting right now. Those who told us, all of us, including me, mm, because I was enemy, remember? You this my Yegun. Why are you enemy of progress? Why are you yeah, 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 yeah. You see, those who called, who told us that we will cry for the next eight years. Now then first started crying. Because they were like, this is not what we were told. This is not what we were promised. But if nobody do something, it being power, Babu Abinshi, Abu Abinshi, Umbao, Kilo D. Let us enjoy this hope, renewed hope in peace into real law. Election is over. Oh, Baba, eh? The people that told you that you will cry for eight years, they couldn't start, they couldn't get offended that you 
you are not joining them. Eh? Now, I mean, protest is no longer around, remember? But now I think, I mean, sorry, protest was around, but it's no longer around. Anyway, Sha, in the old melee and confusion, Tifnubuani's gang, they continue to award themselves different, different awards because they have done so well. So today, the confusion continues. So it all started with the be normal, normal, eh? Every May 29, okay, the government eh, and the president would uh, give a speech and speak to the rest of the country, tell you the challenges in the last one year, the successes too, as well as uh, the prospects for greater things to come. They speak to you, even if they have to lie to you. And I think that was what, uh, you know, uh, Bekun or Bekun De Onofunuga, the 69-year-old special advisor to Tiknumbu on social media. He came, I mean, he went on uh, X Twitter and he wrote this lengthy stuff and he said, Press release. Oh, sorry. Uh, press statement. Something like that, Sha. Like the media of the book. The people that have been lying to you, carrying different fake stories. Eh? I don't want to even go to that yet. Last minute for them to kind of tell us what's going on. They said, ah, Tifnumbu is not going to do national broad. They will not do cut and join this time. If Nubu is going to address the National Assembly, which is the National Assembly of uh, Thieves, Rogues. Okay, people were like, okay, fair enough. Just get yourselves ready for an entertaining, uh, you know, moment. But then this morning, Akuri Ungalailai, which I didn't even know that is actually the boss to Onofunuga. Akuri Nigalaila is the boss. Onofunuga is, uh, you know, correspondence or something like that. So that one now came out and said, nothing like that is planned. What the hell? That statement didn't receive my personal approval. There is no plan for Tifnubu to address National Assembly. Kilo D, when confusion. Let's go there and say something to some of these guys so that they can have something to say. Too. So here we are. Some of them now that the Shege is being democratically feared. Don't see, don't pretend. Even me at the Philam. But you can live in denial. But you won't lie to yourself. You can lie in public. The truth is this. Even if you can afford, if you think you can afford whatever they are throwing at you now, at least you knows where the shoe, I mean, the shoe pinches right now. And the efforts of uh, their paid vuvuzelas is to continue to convince you that that is not because of Tifnumbu. Is it because of Tifnumbu? Everything is now Tifnumbu. Everything is Tifnumbu. Ah. Eh? See, if people cannot even sleep with their wife anymore, it's Tifnumbu. Hey, if people cannot take any hey, if they cannot feed, this is something you call psychological gaslighting. Okay? Because it is the economic policies of Tifnumbu that is making life hell for everyone. If you cannot pay your children's school fees, the one you normally pay before, it is because of the policies of Tifnumbu. Eh? If uh, you can no longer afford that your medication, eh, that your medication, the one you always, to, to, to get your supply, 
it is because of Tifnumbu and the people he appointed to be making decisions. Okay? If you lose your job, that because your the business you are working with is struggling and it's going to fold up soon. It is because of Tifnumbu. But they have psychologically kind of tried to convince you that everything is Tifnumbu. Everything is in and those that are making decisions, seeing you here and there, eh? devaluing your currency every now and then. Come on. That's not something that, that has nothing to do with your sins or the sins of your fathers. Okay? But here we are. If me, eh, that doesn't, that never supported or wanted or participated in your charade elections, is also receiving my own shaggy because of the decisions of 4%. How dare you come to me and say, are you mocking us? No, I'm supposed to be crying for you now. Were you not the people who gave bonds for neck? Less than, uh, I mean, what do you call it? Less than uh, two years ago, 2022. Eh? You were those who were carrying muscle for neck, for head. Starting. You, this my ego, you will see. God will shame you. If Numbu would be the president and he will change Nigeria. And here we are. He is changing Nigeria. He is changing your lives. For the worse. But they want you to believe that he is not responsible. Bokuari did it. Okay. Fine. Where is Bokuari now? Eh? Is he not one of the is he, is he not the leaders of those who are telling you that they are trying to now fix the problem? Where is Bokuari? So you want me to pity you? You want me to feel sorry? I, I mean, if I have choice of explaining, you know, like, if I have a lot of sorry, uh, sorry, any uh, sympathy left, it's never going to be for those of you that uh, every now and then, ekwe, lema magba, ekwe. And you wake up in the morning. Here you get. Eh? Just face wherever the sun is coming out and just say it there. All of you, eh? that you were warned and you were warned. All of you that wished this on us, eh? drop something. They did it. Benue people did it for, I mean, to Bokuari. I don't know if you remember. When the Fulani terrorists were killing and killing and killing them in Benue. So they said they had to call on their God. So they will go onto the mountains. Eh? Like one million people. They will be screaming. Buario! 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 You know, you know long, Buari go, it became deaf and dumb and more wicked. Unfortunately. They said they had a health problem. And I've been with people then said, well, you know, by the end of the day, it became worse and it became more wicked. Then Bulaba came in. Bulaba came to London, December 2022. They said they did not need his body. They only needed his brain. The brain of a tax master. The brain of a pickpocket. The brain of a one chancer. I mean, that puts to question the intelligence of a lot of uh, those who kind of find, the, find an excuse, trying to explain it away, trying to make Tifnumbu what he was never, a complete crook. Somebody was supposed to be jail. He was never supposed to be seen at all. He was he supposed to be jail. Like Oshpopi, that kind of thing. Was. But here you are. Educated people were trying to make up things, trying to paint image of Tifnumbu that he was never. And some of them are now acting surprised. That was when we, the, we diagnosed them of uh, the mental health problem that it is. For anybody to tell you 
if anybody says they support or they are member of uh, APC uh, be, 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 or they are supporters of a uh, Tiknumbu, it is a mental disorder. These are people that are self-destructive. They don't mind destroying others as they destroy themselves, as they are intending to destroy themselves. It's a mental disorder. So all you have to do is to do everything to cut them up. And they are now those who are now trying to emotionally blackmail us. Are you with me? They are wondering that we are laughing when we see the videos of them crying out, a being powwow, a being patins are very hard, and the rest of that. They are wondering, they are like, why are we, why are you happy that people are hungry? No, I am supposed to be sad, you know. This guy came to London and he was talking about Team Ship. You remember that? Chattermouth, London. Questions, Mr. Tunumbu. Please, if we can keep quiet for one conversation here. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, let me warn uh, once and demonstrate here. One of those philosophers and one of the doctrine that I believe family in is teamship, unbreakable team. To demonstrate that, I will choose the first question, assign it to Dele Alake. Okay. And the second question, assign to Nasiru Erufai. <laughs> And third question assigned to to Ben Ayadi. All right. So uh, can we have microphone coming in the front? And the first question is about blood oil. Uh, yeah, oil. There, this gentleman. Yeah, yeah, Elder Fire can see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please go Security ahead. Security Nasiru Erofa. Yes, thank you very much for that. Now, the issue of uh, oil theft in Nigeria is, is as, uh, you know, uh, deep-seated and uh, it's been long-standing. It's been there. It's not a new development, as we all know. It's been there for decades. And then we discover the various dimensions daily. Now. The incoming administration, by the grace of God, of Bola Netinumbu, has devised some uh, uh, novelties in terms of strategies. First of all, to combat oil theft is tied to the security situation of Nigeria. Now, the questioner has uh, linked it with uh, um, Poniva. New Zans, Lili. They said, they didn't need his body. They needed his brain. And the guy put together the gang of uh, drug addicts, drug dealers, money launderers, uh, treasury looters, and on and on like that. He has now brought a team together. So they asked him in Nigeria, what should Nigerians expect in 100 days that will be different from what they were facing under Bukhari? Eh? This is what he said. I mean, the first 100 to 200 days in office, um, what should citizens expect um, to see um, if you're elected as president, sir? Day one, he the grand running. Day two, continue running. <laughs> Day three, don't rest. Think and do. New Zans, Lily. Think and do. Ah, they say, ah, Baba, almost his sense. Ah, Jagaban. Jagaban, almost his sense. Greatest answer. Because the moment Jagaban becomes presidiot, he will eat the ground running. And Situation like this will probably end and never happen again. This was uh, uh, December 
2022. Many people are, uh, are in the bank because many people are dying. Everything I do, uh, I will. Ah, my boss, guys, what you want? Maso Yoruba, I will. Bongo Kachala Louis, guys, what you want? Hey, Bongo Jesus, say you know me. Eh, follow what I know. What I was so what the lazy youth. Now I so what the lazy youth. Only more time we hear. Tell me what the lobby said. Because what? Ah, me call him. How many of you remember that?